this 5.27 p.m. State police helicopter drops it. There is the explosion. When the fire erupted, Police Commissioner Samber and Fire Commissioner William Richmond both gave the order to, quote, let the fire burn. Those who managed to escape the suffocating smoke and blazing inferno were met with a spray of police gunfire, forcing them back into the flames. For four hours, the flames spread uncontrollably over three blocks, engulfing over 60 homes. When the smoke cleared the ruins, 11 people lay dead. Five were children. All the result of a murderous scheme where top officials used military force to bomb their own civilians and ensured that they would burn alive. Only two people survived the onslaught, Ramona and 13-year-old Bertie Africa. Nothing can justify this atrocity. The Empire's soldiers in blue showed that their racist hate was so deep they could intentionally force one of the most painful deaths imaginable on innocent children. But over the decades, a movement has pushed back against brutal police tactics and impunity. And today, it's forcing these things into the spotlight like never before. 